here we are. So tonight, we're going to try some stuff. This thing sells liver pate. Titus sardines in oil. And Pampa herring fillets. We also got some other stuff. Some pretty cool stuff. Um, and uh, we'll show you guys that. Waiting to see if anybody comes in here. Right now we're at zero. No people. So that's odd, talking to nobody. <laughs> and I know I don't like liver pate. So well, I don't know if I like it or not, but I'm, like I'm not a big fan of liver. Um, so I do like some liver, especially if it's uh, liver and onions cooked right. I can eat that, some butter. Um, but this ought to be pretty crazy. So we're going to stay on here until probably 8 o'clock, as long as I don't run out of stuff to talk about. I don't even know if this is working. Nobody's in here. Thought maybe somebody would come. should say how many okay ah there we are we are live So, working. Two people in here now. Very cool. So, we got our new stickers in. Haven't sent anybody any of these. NTD show. NTD's here. What's up, buddy? Yeah, come back. Watch this. This is going to be good because we're eating some liver, pate, and some other stuff. And she's trying it. So it should be pretty good. Those are limited edition stickers. This one we always put up. Toonstead designed that. Toonstead designed this one too. We love you, Nathan. Nathan with the NDT show. He's been uh, traveling a lot, doing a lot of different vlogs, and he's got a great garden. So thank you for stopping by. He's a good guy. You guys should check his channel out. We have um, shout outs going out um, Saturday on our vlog. So there's a lot of channels on there. Um, you guys can check that out and see uh, if maybe if there's some channels you haven't heard of, maybe you can check them out. But this taste test, this is going, this is dedicated to the Ford man, Kenneth Oaks. Oaks. 
he's always doing some great food reviews and uh i really wanted to to torture myself for him <laughs> it's we're gonna torture, torture her too yeah, me. but we're gonna try some other stuff too got this goat cheese from meyer with uh, okay. cranberries okay. and cinnamon. So I don't know. This is pretty cool. I might wait see if anybody else shows up here. Everybody's gone again. But I got some pretty good barbecue sauce that uh, kind of a local uh, barbecue spot around here. So um, we enjoy going there. If you saw our last review with um, Smoky Bones, uh, we talked about this place. It's better than Smoky Bones. And now they started selling it in our uh, grocery store. So we got some of that dry rub for that. And um, I got some crackers here. And we're going to try this, these fish and this liver on. You know, shouldn't torture ourselves that much. Got a little Dewey's Bakery, sharp aged cheddar. Cheddar crackers. Wow. Those ought to be pretty good. And if those aren't, we got Dewey's Chipotle Cheddar Cornbread. Premium snack crackers. Trail Trash. What's up, buddy? What are you guys doing? Look at this stuff. You like liver pate? She says probably not. Looks good. I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of liver. I like liver and onions. We're going to try this. She doesn't like, like this. So this ought to be good. Look at this. Those are good on pizza. Sardines and oil. Goat cheese, cranberry, and cinnamon. Ha, <laughs> no liver fat day for him, he says. I don't think we'll like it either. We're going to try it. Pampa herring fillets in oil. I know I like herring. These are smoked, I think. Lightly smoked. I like them, I like them smoked. We've got our new stickers. I start growing my beard again in August. Try and do a challenge. Anybody willing to shave their beard down to nothing and start growing in August? I'm going to do either a six or twelve month uh, challenge. So see how how long we can grow in either six or twelve months. So if you know anybody that's willing to do that, look at this stuff we found today. Pringles Wendy's Baconator. That's what I thought, too. Remember, my beard was long, but I shave it every year. Well, usually do. You can shave. Start all over. <laughs> Just shave it off and start over from scratch. We'll have a challenge. You can be a team captain. Shoot me your address. Email me right here. See if I can get a banner up. Right there. Email me. All right, I'll go in there. Right there's our email. We got a lot of stickers every month. We also have a uh, Patreon I'll throw this plug in real quick. $3 a month support for us. And uh, we'll send you either a sticker or we'll write you a personal letter or postcard. We've got a lot of cool postcards. Let's see here. I got some examples. I'm excited about you. See, national parks. 
You can get one of these postcards, maybe. But what's up, Saxy Matt? Good to see you here, buddy. I was telling him about our Patreon. I'm going to get through that, and then we'll get through all this other stuff, because I'm going to go till probably right before Kenneth goes on at 8, and you guys can stay or go. But um, These are the postcards we send out for Patreon. Our Patreon, uh, we have tiers, but for just three bucks a month, that's basically support for us, you know, to help us do all these things we do. Uh, all this stuff costs money. All the software costs money. Everything you do, a lot of time, a lot of stuff goes into uploading and making videos. Um, but we're still going to give you stuff for your support. Um, but you either get a sticker. And we make all these different stickers all the time. Toonstead did the art on this. But he also yeah, did yeah. this. I sent him an idea and... Uh, we worked out a deal, and he made that for me. I really liked it. This is an exclusive. We won't make any more like this. We have some other kind of like this, but they won't be this. But you're going to get a sticker every month either or a personal letter from us or one of these postcards I showed you. Every month, something. So I think that's a pretty good deal for everybody. Different tiers, you can get different stuff. Tammy records stuff too. A lot of some of the stuff we use on our vlogs, but a lot of that doesn't get used. So she uploads onto Patreon, and um, you get to see all that extra stuff. But we use Sticker Mule. Love Sticker Mule. They're great. They'll work with you, and they have a lot of different options and a lot of good deals. So if you haven't checked out Sticker Mule, check out Sticker Mule. They'll send you these little cup koozies when you get stickers and these little things every time but real easy to use so check them out if you haven't and that's our Taylor trust and they spent $2,800 of their own money since November yeah it costs money to do this you're right Navi. so every little bit of support you can get helps $3 a month isn't that yeah. bad not and you're getting some stuff in return so and it shows us how much you care you know so what i mean look at these sexy matt wendy's baconator pringles this is going to be well this and i got a little something else the to withstand all this stuff anybody like herring fillets you like herring fillets sexy matt you need to make stickers, Matt. This logo right there is cool. Your avatar. Look at this. Titus. Anybody had that? You're going to get to see her eat this here pretty soon. And me. It probably won't be so bad for me. Liver pate. Share this out, guys. We're going to be going on for another hour and a half, probably. So get some people in here. I've got a haul of stuff, too. We got uploads every day this week, uh, pre-scheduled all the way through Saturday now. Saturday, there's a lot of channel recognition from other channels. So you're going to want to check that out. Um, there's probably some channels on there you may not have heard of. I know I didn't get everybody on there, but... Um, yeah, I like that logo. Yeah, I like it. You did good. What program did you use? Artisan made goat cheese from Meyer. Went to Meyer today because they had uh, ground beef for a dollar eighty nine a pound. And when we went there, the entire uh, meat area was empty, and the uh, end aisle the uh, sale cap type yeah the thing. sale cap like at the end of the aisle where they had the dollar 89 ground beef that was empty and we almost left and then i said well there's somebody in the butcher shop let's just ask if they got any in the back well he was so busy with everybody he told us to wait to even ask but then we asked 
And he said, yeah, I got more in the back. Limits two. So we got two packages of it. $1.89 a pound. That was really good. Especially right before the fourth. Because we've been paying like, what, $5 a pound? Yeah, close to $5 a pound for uh, ground beef. But we also got a big pork loin. Now, I get pork butts a lot. Um, but I'm kind of trying to save them up right now for an event we have going on. But I did get a big pork loin. Uh, but it was really marbled with fat. You know, it wasn't a lean loin. It was a whole center cut. And I also found this. Look at this. Shigs in a pit. Shigs in a pit rub, barbecue rub. Man, we like shigs in a pit. I don't know if you guys have them around you, but in Fort Wayne, they uh, they have a, a barbecue place called Shigs in a Pit. Uh, really good barbecue. And it says if you ain't shigging, you're either losing or lying. Apply generously to meat several hours before grilling. But we're putting on ours tonight. We're going to cook it tomorrow. Um, super excited to find that they were selling this in our stores now. They haven't been open that long, but it must it's be pretty popular. Pricey, yeah, it's a little pricey. Not really. You, I can bring stuff home with me every time we eat. No, you can get growlers there. They serve I mean, Mad Anthony uh, beer, which uh, which is a great microbrewery we have around here, over here in Auburn, which is close to us. And uh, they also have one in Fort Wayne. But uh, I like Matt Anthony's, and I did a review on theirs. They can some of their beer now, so you can go back and look at that review uh, on Matt Anthony's Brewery. Now, this is a little treat we might have. Man, I wish Ford Man Kenneth was here. This is all dedicated to him because he does the feud reviews, so I wanted to w let him watch us suffer. I really like Kenneth. Hopefully he comes back and watches this. Tri-State Dairy Jalapeno Bacon Munster Cheese. But well, look at this. This is what I want you to see. Right down here. Can you see it? It's not very focused. Maybe you can't see it. It says uh, Tri-State Dairy. Hicksville, Ohio. 43526. This is made here, right here in Hicksville. In our small little town. Hello, Miss Fitz and Dreamers. Good to Hi. see you here. Hi, Bob. You're going to love all this food. I, I'm going to show all this again because Bob's here now. Look at this. Liver pate. I, I don't know if I like this or not. She's going to try it too. She don't, I don't think I will. She doesn't think she will, but we might. Either we're both going to dislike it a lot and maybe throw up for everybody to see, or we might fall in love with a new thing. Who knows? Herring fillets, Papa. I do like herring. These are lightly smoked in oil. She's the, gonna be the hard one for this one. We got these uh, crackers to try them on. Dewey's Bakery Chipotle Cheddar Cornbread. Go ahead. You were saying something? I said Bob loves it. Bob loves it? Chipotle Cheddar Cornbread. Dewey's Crackers. And so these are like gourmet Cheez-Its probably. Dewey's Bakery Sharp Age Cheddar. Never tried these. So those of you that follow us on Facebook, you saw that um, we posted a post about diabetes. My dad's dealing with diabetes right now and some issues. And he's uh, just went through surgery, lost um, some toes. So uh, he, he seems to be doing okay. That happened today. So... It's a big deal, diabetes. And there's no cure. 
Goat cheese with cranberry and cinnamon. We're going to start eating this about 6.45, guys. So here in a little bit. Hey, there's the gypsy. That's Tammy on there, guys. She doesn't have a channel yet, but she is uploading to our Patreon. So if you want to see Tammy's cam, there's a, a tier for that on our Patreon. If anybody wants a sticker, this is the one we're sending out now. These are the ones we just got. Email us right there. Mordecai at gmail.com. Mordecai at gmail.com. You will get one of these free. Or you can support us on Patreon and you'll get either a sticker or a handwritten letter or where did they go? Oh, postcards, different kinds of postcards that we'll write on and send to you. This one's all about national parks. So you would get one of these national park ones. But we also have different ones. This is uh, Granville's Animals. You would get a postcard with something like this, handwritten on the back from us. Because we want to find the art and everything. We try to inspire people. Uh, we try to find the art and everything. That's what this channel is all about art stuff this is our ebay if you see we got vlogs we got videos going up all week the next three are all the stuff we found bob's already seen it bob has seen it somehow early it's not focusing but It's uh, eBay, Mordecai's Treasures. So just like our, uh, just like our uh, email right here. Well, that's also Mordecai's Treasures is our eBay site. We got a lot of stuff on there. And later on, after we get done eating all this gross stuff, except for these, these look good. I, kn I know there's some people out there liking these. Wendy's Baconator. Yeah, Bob, I already got your address. We're going to wash it down with this. This is Tart Mortello Cherry. And it sat around with some sugar for a little while. You know what I mean? It's warm. Woo! Go, you go grab some ice, will you? Because we probably ain't going to need to drink it. Just easier for you to get out. Look at these. Won't these be good on a salad? Crispy jalapeno peppers. What? Salad, sandwich. Bob could come up with about 50 different ideas for these things. Misfits and Dreamers, go check it out. Got great food over there. Hey, uh, Trail Trash, we just got a, we, I don't know if you saw it, but we just got a uh, uh, kayak rack for the top of our SUV, and we just bought a bike rack, which you'll see in the vlog coming up. Probably gave that away, but. Crispy, spicy, pickled, seasoned cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be good in something. But look at this. Now, this this uh, if you like this tri-state dairy jalapeno, you can go to uh, nowhere. They don't have a website. I thought they did. So you can't buy that unless you come to Hicksville. But look at this. And this, all you have to remember is babyswiss.com. You can buy this at babyswiss.com. Come. That's not from the same place, though, right? Smoke. It's not from Hicksville. Nope. 
but this is U.S. and World Cheese Champion, Gugisberg. Premium Swiss Smoke. Woo-wee! Pretty good price, too. Well, that looks good. I love cheese on the fourth. But this goat cheese, which I heard was a little sweeter. It's been a long time since I've had goat cheese. Matt has, said he likes goat cheese with blueberries. Yeah, it's sweeter. I've heard that. This is cranberry and cinnamon. I don't know. We're going to find out if we like it or not. Here in about four minutes. Four minutes, guys. And then after we get done eating, we have a small haul. Some of what we found today when I tried to get on with Misfits and Dreamers. Uh, I'll try to say sorry how much you got it for, but I did hear you asking the woman. So. 20 bucks. I got that thing for $20. And it was hilarious, too. She's like, my my husband left me a list <laughs> on how much he wants for this stuff. Uh, and I, she couldn't find it on there. So I finally said, oh, there it is, 50, 50 bucks. So I, I just gave up. I didn't want to give $50 for it. Uh, it's only got one. It, the racks themselves, the piece that goes on there that the kayaks go on, they're $100. So just by themselves that's a 250 dollar piece of equipment if you go and buy it brand new but uh i didn't know all that until i got home and looked it up but i said well i'll give you 20 dollars," and she's like oh, i'll take it i'm like what you'll take it so i was happy to do that because we usually have to empty out the truck put the kayaks in there he has a medium or he has a large not a medium Hi, White Witch. Hi, Karen. White Witch 110. Nice to see you here. Canada Day. You're having hamburgers tonight. Very cool. Oh, I don't need anything. So if I buy it, it's because I get a great deal. So that's just the way it is. We, we have everything that we need. We don't need anything. So... Um, if I buy something, it's just because I got a good deal on it. We, we're resellers and we sell on eBay and uh, we also do construction full time. Large is fine. You should have got like 2X and you can wear it to bed. Probably. <laughs> it's like a 2X on there. All right. One more minute. We're going to do this one last because I know, I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna start out slow. We're gonna try Pampa herring fillets. Should have got some hot sauce oh. out. All right, watch this. I love all these cans have this little pull tab. Oh, the oil's coming out the top. Oh my! Let's see if we can get this all clean. I'm making a big old mess. Yeah, spill it. Oh my, my hands are slipping now. It's in oil. I don't have to take this all the way off. No. But I want you to see this. There's two herring fillets in there. Some of you guys have already seen this. Let me get something here. I'll pour it into here. We'll drink it later. I will. <laughs> Karen's here. What size of shirt do you wear? Two X by chance. They mm -hmm. have one left. Me? Trail trash. Uh, yeah, I would say you. No, I wear extra large. Well, I'll wear two X, or she can wear it to bed. Yeah, I didn't know you had shirts, Trail Trash. We'll buy one off you. Okay. Email me, Trail Trash, right there. Mordecai at gmail .com. And I'm starting a beard challenge with somebody. Somebody needs to clean shave and be willing to grow a beard for six to 12 months. I've got an entire plan so we can have teams and it should be a lot of fun. So 
get a hold of me if you want to do a beard challenge. You know somebody who would like to do a beard challenge. Karen, your husband, if he's allowed to grow a beard, have him do it with me. You can film him. But I need one other person to get as a team captain for a beard challenge. I've asked three or four people. I haven't got a reply. So, well, I have gotten replies. and I've got people that are willing, but no commitments yet. I want somebody to make a commitment. Look at this. Two pieces two beautiful fillets in here well i probably shouldn't have showed her that part look at that looks like an oyster but they weren't broke they were all one piece you just see fillets in here i don't know how long do these last well it says it's expired <laughs> well i'm not eating it then yeah she's gonna get out She's out. No, she'll that. try it. She'll try it. I'm going to eat it. Here we go. Herring expired. Sm lightly smoked. Smells. Fishy. It smells fishy. a little fishy. It smells fishy. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Wow. Tastes like um, smoked fish. Here, I'll, no, I'll be I'll nice do, to her. No, I'll do my own. I'll do my own. All right, she's going to do her own. Sure. I'm not going to push her too far. At least I got this tart mortella cherry to wash that taste down. A little fishy. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's very fishy. I can taste the smoke in it. It's, it says lightly smoked. Not my favorite. I think it'd be better um, if it wasn't expired. I think I said expired like February February 13th. So we're not going to push our luck there. But it does provide four grams of omega 3. Does taste a little old, but the dogs will love that. This one. Expired in 2018. So this one's two years old expired. Sardines. I should have labeled this expired canned meat. Okay, <laughs> this one's not. Oh! It's like... Oh! Oh my. Oh my. Those aren't sardines. What is that? These are like King Titus sardines. Holy moly. Ugh. Oh, it won't pick up. Oh, look at that. Open up. No. <laughs> Come on. A handmade blessings by D. How are you doing? Karen is on Facebook. I can't tell if any of my moderators are here. This is my first time using uh, StreamYard. Usually use Stream Labs, but uh, does it show? I don't think any of my moderators are here. That's so. scary. I don't think so either. You can do it on your phone though, right? It's right here. Oh, yeah, wait, which no, is in here? Yeah, Karen is a moderator. Yeah. Karen, you're my only moderator, I think, unless Misfits is. No, it's so funny. It's Okay, here we go. We're going to try these uh, 2018 expired. No, you, are. you wouldn't eat too much if it's expired. Oh, yeah. Matt. I'm not, I'm not you can't get sick on, on 
expired fish. Look at that. Antibodies. That's what these are. Smells like salmon almost. I like uh, sardines on pizza. Who likes sardine on sardines on pizza? Anybody here? No, I'm not trying this one. It's too old. All right, here we go. I'm not going to get a lot. We'll see if I die or not. Could be. You might not hear from me, but I already got videos ready to upload to Saturday. So as long as I'm not too sick, uh, this is what I'm going to eat right here. It's like a forkful. I have my favorite fork, too. I can tell. See, all of our forks are different. But this one, I can tell by the design on the handle, is my favorite. It just fits my hand perfectly. Look at this. It's got a little skin. I wish that would get that better. Let me see if I turn this light on. Is that better? Your dad likes sardines on pizza? Maybe people don't yeah, like it because they I haven't have tried one it. right here, Karen, but he probably won't puke. <laughs> here we go. So that tastes a lot like salmon. Maybe because it's so old. I don't know. It's better than the, this is better than the herring. I'm going to eat another bite. Yeah. Anchovies. I've heard of anchovies on pizza. I've never heard of sardines. Oh, yeah. I like anchovies. I like sardines on pizza. You don't like sardines? I Anchovies are too salty for me. These salty. Uh, sardines this tastes a lot like salmon and this with a uh, like a um, what's the white sauce Alfredo sauce on a pizza delicious try it just don't get expired ones I'm gonna <laughs> eat another bite mmm aged sardines in oil why is he starting to glow are you starting to glow? The only fish I can have. I've tried is tuna. Oh, it scares you? Because of jaws? Or the taste? Oh, Ooh, some of this is probably the taste. some of this has gone brown. No, sardines have that multicolored meat. Look at that. It's like pink. You can't really see it. All right. I'm not eating any more of that. That's going to the dogs. I want to try this, though. Chipotle. Somebody go tell Ford Man. Kenneth, come over here. I'm dedicating this to Ford Man, Kenneth Oaks. Mmm, cornbread. Chipotle cheddar cornbread. Dewey's.com. Dewey's.com. It's kind of sweet. Yeah, it's a little sweet and a little spicy. A little, a little cracker, see? Really crunchy. Anchovies are very salty. That sardine tastes very good. Tastes like salmon. Matter of fact, I might eat that instead of his liver. Has anybody here tried liver pate? Yeah, Bob said he loves it. Besides Bob. Those are good. Did you try them? Sweet, you said. I said they're sweet. Bob, do you make your liver with onions? Liver and onions? That's the way I like them. 
This says it's got seasonings in it. Dewey's also makes a sharp aged cheddar. Ooh, that's These are good. good. These are really good. Those are real good. Hmm. Make me want to try liver. Yeah, I like liver and onions when it's cooked right. I know. I like the heart out of things. I like when we, onions. I like when we butcher meat, I like to fry the heart up. Um, liver and soup. Before we get to this, never had that liver pate. Mm. We're going to eat some of this goat cheese. It smells like yogurt. Can you eat it on a cracker? Yeah, but I don't know what you're gonna get a plain one or something. Or you want one of these? Maybe the chipotle. This would be good, probably. The cornbread one. I don't know. It'd probably be good on cheddar. I like cheddar on my uh, apple pie. Anybody eat cheddar cheese on their apple pie? I love cheddar cheese on my apple pie. Crackers are yummy. They're really good. They are very good. And they're little. Here we go. Savory. Goat cheese. With cranberry and cinnamon. Saturday's vlog, I got channel channel shout outs. And I'm getting this ready. It smell like yogurt. It smells like yogurt. Look, we're making little sandwich crackers. Like a cookie. Cinnamon, cranberry, and cornbread. Yeah, this is a cheese knife. See, it's got cheese all over it. It's different. We've got uh, some stickers in from Jeanette and from Crystal. Maybe with a different cracker. Crystal sticker we have and uh, artist on the road, Jeanette. So. I have a few more I'm waiting on, but they should be coming here in the next day or so. And then I'm going to do an update on our uh, sticker pictures, picture window, sticker picture window. Look at this. You guys know this guy? Quickie Mart. So here we go. A little crunchy cornbread sandwich, goat cheese with cranberries. That's already easy in sardines. Cheese knives are off and smell. Yes, we have one. We have two, I think. Matt, if you saw the stockpile stuff that we have, um. Anyways, we got everything. Look at that right there. That's an air rifle. Just one pump. You're right.
All right. We're back on. I don't know what happened. Can you hear me now? I didn't mute myself. It doesn't say muted. It said I lost the connection. How about now? Can you hear me now? It says you're back. Turn your thing up. See if you can hear me. He said you're back. Oh. Yeah, it says you're back. All right. I don't know what happened. So Craziness. Scary. All right. So if you want to email me right there, go ahead and uh, send me your address. We'll send you this sticker. Nobody's gotten this yet. We just got this yesterday in the mail. This is the newest design. But we have these other ones too. This one. So maybe you want that one instead. You're more than welcome to request it. This one says, make me coffee and take me junk. And it's got woods in the background. And this one says, live the dream. And then it's got like a path back into the woods. And this one, Toonstead, Toonstead made this for us. And the other one. And the logo. Yeah, this logo. He did this on one of his live feeds. You guys should check that out sometime, maybe. If you want. It's fun. He'll pick people right out of the chat, draw them. This one he did off of a Facebook thing, I think, he said. But this one I emailed him an idea, and this is what he came up with. He had never met us or seen us. I love it. We're not going to ever make any more like this. Ten people got these. Well, nine people and me. So if you got one of these... We are going to make some more like this, but not this. Not exact. Not exactly like that. And if you see any of our stuff on our vlogs that we have going up all week, you can buy it at Mordecai's Treasures. eBay, Mordecai's Treasures, or Facebook. All right. Now, we're going to have some... Um, we have some ideas for a... Uh, Maybe we can do it with, I don't know how we're going to do it. That's why we haven't done it. But we have a reversed um, family feud idea. Uh, so maybe we'll do that one night live. I don't know. Maybe more towards this winter because we're pretty busy. And then we have uh, some trivia ideas. But I think our next live is um, going to be the setup, stencil, and tattoo. Um Tammy here. Um, sometimes I do tattoos for my family and she has a memorial tattoo she wants um, for her mom and dad. So I have one drawn up. We're going to transfer it and then tattoo it and we'll do it all live for you guys. Um, and she wants it done soon. So it might be, you know, around. I wanted it done like Father's Day. <laughs> she wanted, Mother's it, done. Day, then she Father's wanted Day. it done Father's Day, but. Sells pate. Can't find out a lot about it, but they do sell it in a lot of places. We are going to try cat food. Basically. They're on a cracker. Oh, it looks like cat food. Smells like cat food. There's like these little white things on top. What is that? Ground up bone or something? What is the white things on top? Is that normal, Bob? Is that normal, Bob? <laughs> this is good until 2023. Blue Bus Dave, flea marketing. You guys see Blue Bus Dave on... These channels, Ojusan Arts, go check him out sometime. White Witch 110. She's got a great channel if you're into making things, crafts. I guess that you would need it. 
I would. It's it's, a, it's, it's not, good. It's good till the twenty 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 three. You got you can't be scared all the time. Oh. It could be maggots, no, but they're no. ground up. All right, here we go. I want this on a cracker though. Oh my goodness, look at this. That is so dissatisfied. <laughs> Doesn't look good to eat. <sighs> mm. Smell it. All right, here we go. Put it on the. It oh no! Put it on. a little bit like um. Oh, Manhattan. No. Okay. Beef Manhattan. It smells like beef it smells Manhattan. Like canned corn beef. Oh boy. How do I put the uh, link in here? Somebody tell me. I don't know how. It says broadcast info. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't know what I did. <laughs> All right, see you later, Trail Trash There's Outdoors. Link on, on another device. I don't know what the link is. I'd put it on there so you guys could have some people to talk to while we're doing this. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. That's a big bite, really. For cat food. You want that one? I'll do my own. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't want that waste stuff. Oh. And I don't quite want as much of that liver as you have. I know. I don't want it either. Like, I just want thin liver. We got to do it for no the way. people. You got to do it for the people, Tammy. You want a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm like getting sick thinking about it. I don't want to eat this. Yuck. Here we go. Yeah, I don't like it. But I don't like liver. Where, where do I find the link at, Matt? If you send him the link on Facebook Messenger. I'll send it to you. I just don't know where to find it at. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. It's a very strong liver. If I when I went to more, it kicked me out of the thing. Man, you're make you're gonna make me get on my computer. All right. Need to be a mod too. Let me get on here and do something. Talk to Tammy for a little bit. Oh my gosh! It's not very good. It tastes like it's got onions in it. It tastes like beef Manhattan with. No, it doesn't taste like beef Manhattan. Dang it. I think I'd rather eat cat food, honestly. I'm trying to think what that would. That would be good in some like um, real flaky uh, crust, like a um, croissant. croissant crust and something rolled up and maybe extra seasoning and stuff because it's got a really strong flavor of meat. Hi, Bob. 
I talk to yeah, you. I don't like it. I think this is my favorite so far. The aged cheddar snack crackers. Yeah, Bob, they're at they're telling me I can get ten people on here if I pay for all this stuff. You pay for what stuff? I don't know, whatever the service. Invite guest. Right there. Copy. Can it go? No, I have to. You burnt your meatballs? Man, see how hard that was? I thought you were having hamburgers tonight. Oh, my goodness. I hate computers. They didn't put it on there. There, there it goes. Yeah, it's on there. And now I gotta make Matt a mod. Who else wants to be a mod that isn't? Trail Trash, you still on here, buddy? All right. You wanna be a moderator for me? Do it for the people, <laughs> Tammy. Hey, Trail Trash, are you still on here? If you guys haven't checked out Trail Trash Outdoors, his uh, channel, they clean up trash everywhere they go, and they're outdoors people, and they do a lot of outdoor stuff. It's a fun channel. Go check them out. Trail Trash Outdoors. Are you still on here? If you are, I'll make you a moderator. Actually, I'll just do it anyway. You're going to have to accept it, though. Matt, I sent you. I made you a moderator. Yeah. And made blessings by D. Have you ever been a moderator? You know what that means. You can tell we're gonna go this this we're gonna go big because this is crazy tonight. You know what I mean? No, we're not trying to get big. We love all you guys on here. Um, we enjoy all the stuff that you guys do uh, on all the channels. There's some stuff that's really dear, near and dear to the our hobbies and likes. I wish uh, Bone Daddy was on here. I really enjoy their channel too. Um, Arkansas Woodcutter, really enjoy his channel. I learned a lot about gardening on that channel. So that's why I'm sharing out a lot of these channels on Saturday. Um, if they're on my uh, blog Saturday, and whether you've heard of them or not, they're great channels. I mean, in some way or another, it might not be for everybody, but they're worth checking out and seeing if it's something that you enjoy. The two I left out that I wanted to put in there was Ojason Arts and Toonstead. They are featured channels. You can go to our channel and on the side there, or maybe on the top, depending on what device you're using, um, there's featured channels. Uh, and all those channels that are down through there are great channels in some way or another. So check them out. Yeah, Karen, that's what we are down to earth. We are uh, just normal everyday people. I'm going to give this one to the dog. We've been married for um, okay. 23 Three. years. She's my memory. And, uh, no, 21. 21. Yeah. 23. We work 21. together. We do Not everything together. We just are always, we're like one. She, I was 19. She was 16. So, uh, young. When we got together. Having spaghetti and meatballs with sausage and peppers mm. and onions for dinner tomorrow. Mm. See, we always put peppers, onions, and mushrooms. 
We put mushrooms in put everything. Mushrooms in everything. He's here and he's down. I think I made you one. You just have to accept it or something. Yeah, you are. You're moderator, man. So just keep an eye out uh, anytime that we're live. And if we come on here, yeah, all you moderators, um, appreciate it. If um, I mention some people's names, you can uh, take their, um, go to their page, save their page, put the link in here. Um, if you guys want to talk about your channels as moderators, you're more than welcome to talk about anything you want. Share it out. Um, that's what this is all about, helping the community. The community being all the channels we enjoy. All right. Fun time. I'm trying. Have you guys had these yet? Wendy's Baconator. Tammy this found this. Pringles. <laughs> Wendy's Baconator. They had chicken and waffles too, but Jeff didn't think they'd be good in a chip. I don't think I love chicken and waffles. I didn't think they'd make a good chip. I thought I'd be disappointed. Look at that. Right on the top. You can download and unlock Wendy's stuff. I love the Baconator. I love Wendy's burgers because they're fresh, never frozen. Man, they're good. They taste different, too. Mm, I can smell tomatoes. She don't like tomatoes. There's no tomatoes on here. No tomatoes on the Baconator. Robin said him and Bonnie have been together 22 years in August. That's awesome. That's awesome, Bob. And man, we've been Bob, married 21, but we've probably. been together... Almost 20. She's excited. Should I let her try them first or me? Our daughter is going to be 18 in August, though. You're in the basement. What does that mean? Oh, gosh. I see you. All right, Matt. Come on up. Add two streams. See if we can handle you. Hey, Jeff. Can you hear are me? you on there? Yeah, can you hear me? You are on there, Matt. Come on up. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you guys Here, doing? You want a tip? Yeah, I wish we could Oh, pass golly. Let me see. I'm going to take this mic out because I can't hear. All right. Now I'll say something. Hey, guys. All right. Hey. Yeah, I'll see, take I got trip. my external mic in. And when I have that in, <laughs> then I can't hear anything. Yeah. It cuts it out. Cuts it out. Oh, you know, you're, you're really down with this stuff. Uh, well, I had to learn all this, you know. Yep. Now I got the banner going. How's there you that? Go. You want a chip? Here, put your mouth right there. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Man, I don't. You gotta I don't put that any, liver up. I don't need anybody feeding me. I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> What's that? I'm a grown man. Yeah. You want some? <laughs> me too. Yeah, they're pretty good. I think they're good. Yeah, I heard. What uh, you do all day today, Matt? I heard Pringles came out with the uh, Wendy's Baconator. Interesting. Because so many Wendy's, so many Wendy's, uh, you know, got the shortage of meat. So people are like, oh, I need my Baconator. We found yeah. we found ground beef today for $1.89 a pound. Did you hear me earlier? Not yet. Yeah, $1.89, that's pretty good. That's really good. Are you kidding me? We were paying five dollars a pound just a week or so ago. <laughs> the um, the whole meat area was empty. The end cap was empty. So we asked the butchers, and they said, "Oh yeah, we got more in the back. Just wait. We'll bring you out. You want one or two? So everybody that walked by there thought that they were gone. They, they were out. Was out. They had the the sale tags there in both places, but if you didn't go ask, you didn't know they had any. They only had one person working back there. See, that's how we do. Yeah. Especially right before the fourth. Hey, I got some stuff. Today at that yard sale, I want to show you. First, I'm getting into that. 
Smoke Swiss, you like that? Amy loves uh, Mushroom Swiss. So, them venues you were playing at, what, what are those? I've seen you playing at venues there in Tennessee. What are those? Matt? I don't want that. No, I like that mushroom. Swiss burger. Ha! Huh. I can't hear you. Sorry. Oh. Somehow the mic was muted. I can't. Hmm. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hello. Yep. Yeah, we hear you. I hear so, you now. What, yeah, are, what no. are the venues that you've been playing at? Around here, we mostly do senior residences, but that's been... That's been kibosed probably at least till the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Because those were the areas that got hit the hardest. Yeah. I know some places that shut down completely, they said. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, we haven't, uh, we haven't really been doing practices either. So, because the age group of my band is mid, late 70s to 80s, and they're the most vulnerable. So. Until I think we get safely into stage five and we stay there, we ain't going to be practicing for a while. And then at that time, who knows? I may be in Tennessee by then. So we shall see. I'm just taking it as it comes. That's, You're that's trying to move? Yeah. My, um, my parents are retired. I still will live with them. And they want to go down to eastern Tennessee. So I'm going to help them move and uh, just stay with them for a little while longer and then find a place of my own. Are you, so, I thought you were in, all, in Tennessee. Where are you, Ohio? No, um, Chicago, Illinois. Oh. Well, we're actually kind of close to you. No, two hours. Close. Yeah, you're you're Indiana, right? No, we're Ohio. Oh, we're right oh, on the border, Ohio. though. Oh, okay. We're like right up by Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. Oh, okay. We're right up in the that's why you remember this cheese, Tri State, made in Hicksville. Because Tri State, yeah, Ohio, yeah, Michigan, yeah. Indiana. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine retire in Ohio, um, Newark, just out of Columbus. Really likes it there. Rural community, small town. We like the small town. That's where we are. We're not in town. We like the small town. We like to travel, but I like bigger towns, but to visit. I don't want to live there. See, Chicago, love Chicago, but a day or two, yeah. I want to be gone. I like being out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> My See. brothers, they're coming up for the fourth. My one brother's from uh, Columbus. The other brother's from Dayton. Mm -hmm. My other brother's in Japan. My other sister's in Phoenix. And my other sister's in Akron. So... Oh, yeah. They all go in, they all are in bigger cities, but I don't, I'm not that. Tight. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here, been living around here for 32 years. And when I was a kid growing up, we had property down southern Iowa, which is as small as you can get. A town called Iconium. We only had maybe around 1,000 people at the most. And we went, we would go down there. We went down there consecutively for about 12, 13 years. And it was a farmhouse built in the late 1800s, had no plumbing. We had an outhouse yeah. and just had electricity, and that was it. And we had a pump You're for water. Yeah. yeah. We actually had two pumps, one on the back porch and then one on the uh, property next to us. And it was a freshwater well. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, yeah. We have a uh, perpetual water at our brother's house. Runs all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and people would tell me, oh, our house, oh, that's not, you know, oh, I wouldn't want that. I'm like, hey, our, our house was actually cleaner than most of the uh, RV park bathrooms you'd go into. It was freshly painted, and we always threw the pneumonia bleach down there and let it air out, and you never smelled anything. Yeah. I, I'd take that any day. We have it's salt for water, but 
And sometimes you got a nice draft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just the bad part was, you know, three in the morning, you got to do your business and it's raining outside. Oh, I got to take the umbrella. <laughs> right. But that's true. Yeah, good memories there. Yeah. So no, people on, down there. Go over. Look at this stuff. Shigs in a pit. You can get this. This is on oh, Shigs in the Shigs in pit dot com. Hmm. Dry rub. This is a restaurant barbecue place around here. They just started selling this in our grocery stores, but they do have a website. Very very good barbecue, especially if you're gonna do like a pork butt or something like mm -hmm. that. Some pulled pork, yeah. Pulled pork, yeah. Yeah, we got two barbecue places by us at a local. Yeah. I like Chicks in a Pit because it's got our uh, micro brew there. Uh, Matt Anthony's, I did a review on that. They're one of my favorite micro brews and they serve it there. You can buy it in the growler. Yeah, so we good. have tons of micro brews by us. Yeah, so do we. So many that you don't have to buy the name brands anymore. We actually have one one place just the west of me. It's called Two Brothers. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Uh -uh. That's right, right by us in Warrenville. They might. We have one in town called uh, Two Bandits. They okay. have a restaurant and they have a microbrew. They just had it on too. But they're yeah. people who I went to school with. Oh, cool! They, uh, make a really good beer or beers, multiple beers. Yeah. Yeah. If you look up Two Brothers, you might actually have some. In your stores, because I know they branched out from Illinois. I know they sell them in. Okay. Uh, I don't uh, drink much, but I don't mind drinking a beer with my meal or whatever like that. Yeah, I like the taste of beer. That's why I drink it. <laughs> but well, I drink. I'll drink a beer with stuff. I will definitely try out Two Brothers if yeah, I can find uh, it. It yeah, shouldn't if be if it's up there. It shouldn't be. I mean, I should be able to find it. You're only a few hours away from me. They got to yeah. expand. I'll have to check. Yeah. See, I'm part Czech, so I've got to like beer, you know? Eastern European. I had to get real close to hear you. I'm going to go grab a uh, this load of haul stuff and move this food, or I'll give it to her to do this. You can talk mad about your channel or whatever. Oh, I really wanted to do this for Ford man, Kenneth. I'm just going to tell him to go back and watch it. Yeah. I really thought be... she probably puked eating that liver, honestly. <laughs> yeah. He's got to be busy because I sent him the channel link in Facebook and he didn't respond back. So he's going live at eight. So I want to be off of here. We can, uh, we can raid him if you want, if you guys want to raid him, that's fine. We yeah, got about he, another half an hour, but I got some stuff I'd like to show you guys that we got at the garage sales. Yeah, that's it's fine. cool stuff. I think. I think we paid like. Yeah, he'll be live in thirty minutes. So when he goes on, I'll send the link and we can all rate his channel. Yeah, would you? That'd be cool. We got all this stuff for about thirty dollars, maybe give or take. I pay about a quarter to a dollar for everything, but sometimes a little more. Look at that little <laughs> Marge. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. This is something I'll probably keep. I got a lot of different things. You know, remember these guys? What, from the Muppets? That's Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. Rock. Oh, my gosh. I haven't heard that name in so long. I know it, right? <laughs> That's a Fraggle Rock. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying. Now watch it. Homer. No. <laughs> He's got a skunk. You can't see yeah. it, but there's a skunk right there. And now look at this. You don't ever find these anymore. Let me see what year this is. See, this is a newer one, 2013. Still don't ever find them. Mm, the Smurfs, yep. I love the Smurfs. You like the Smurfs? 
I used to watch. All right. I just don't see them anymore. I'm Check sure. this out. I can't believe, I don't know why anybody would make this or why they would think they could sell this. <laughs> this thing is not right. Look at this thing. Oh, boy. Hi, Matt. How are you? What in the world is that? Looks like a it's scene. A whole, like they, put, the they literally put lace and stuff on the bottom. Somebody like made this thing legit. Legit, Matt. It's not right. Wow. Bob would probably know what that is. I just think it's a homemade homemade doll. Pu puppet of some kind. You know who White Snake is? Yeah. You ever heard of White Snake? Uh, yeah, I've heard of White Snake. Yeah. How about this tape? Grateful Dead, yeah. Yeah. And my golf. I don't buy tapes normally, but I couldn't pass these up. Grateful Dead. Yeah. Another one. I'm a I I collect uh Vinyl records. Poison, yeah. But when I see stuff that'll sell on uh, eBay, all this stuff will sell on eBay. Step and Wolf, yeah. Actually, there is still a market for tapes. Yeah, yeah people buy these. Tapes and VHS. Just, you just got to find the right artist, that's all. Yeah. We sell yeah, this stuff all the time. That's why we call it digging up gold because you're basically treasure hunting. You're going out. You can't just, I mean, you can go out and buy these, but you're going to pay full price. But to find them for cheap, that's digging up gold. That's what we do. Metallica, Master of Puppets. Yeah. They didn't have the case for that, and they had this without the tape, so I just took them both. Um, I can sell just the cases for people that don't have mm -hmm. for their stuff. Yep. He's like, I'm not into old vintage stuff. It's okay. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a vase. The bird on it. Hmm. Tammy must want to plant plants that, in that. What was that? Porcelain? Yeah. Yeah. But it's like a vase and you can hang it too. Yeah. yeah. Metal. You can hang this on the wall. Plant, plants, it's real thin, see? So it's a little different. Not something you're going to find everywhere. We got a big garden, so 25 cents. This is this way of shopping so much more fun than going to a department store. Are you kidding me? You don't, because you don't know what you're going to find. I don't even know what that is. That's something Tammy bought. Hmm. The candle. Oh, that candle. Yeah, I got that for my. Look at that. Uh, Okay. Yep. Under Armour fitted hat. Yeah. It's uh, Heather Gray. You know that Heather Gray? Mm hmm It's amazing cents. what people amazing what people will throw away. It really is. This is fifty cents. They didn't throw it away. I don't find it all but in the trash. So I do find stuff in the trash. Look at this little tin oh, pig pig. Yeah. With a little hook. Yeah. That's not the good stuff. This is it. This is it right here. Right Look at that. There you go. Look at the detail in that band. This is suede leather with metal rings. Yeah. You can fold this any way you want. You know how liberating that is? <laughs> you can laugh, Matt. It's okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> Look, I get you, you know, I'm a jokester. Since watching, I, uh, I take, you got to take everything I say with a grain of salt because I'm joking most of the time. Actually, the Look show. 
Yeah. That's like solid cast bird. Same mm -hmm. thing. Yep. Actually, That's for me, watching the show uh, American Pickers is what, you know, brought an appreciation of this for me. Watching them dig through and finding gold. Rusty yeah. gold, we called it. You like American Pickers? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've, I've been to their shop in LeClaire, Iowa. Yeah. Where they filmed. Cool. Yeah. Did you film it? No, I, that was way before I started vlogging, man. <laughs> oh, I wish I could see it. That's a cool door knocker. Yeah. The bells don't sound like normal. It's all brass. And I really like this. This is one of my favorite things. It's made in India. And it's a little brass mouse. Huh. And it's got this little like flowers and calligraphy on the side. Filigree. Yeah. I love this. Boy, Love boy, in antique shops, I easily cool. see that for 40, 50, 60 bucks. Easily. Look at that. Mixtape. It says, To Heather, love you. It's a homemade. To Heather, it's a homemade. I love you tape to Heather. <laughs> I cannot wait to listen to this. Are you kidding me, Matt? Somebody put their entire heart onto this tape. For the one they love. Yep, and now you have it. At least at some point in their life. This, I hope you like. You know who does that art? The dinosaur. Yeah, it was a comic strip called BC. No, I never heard of that. His name was Hart. I think James Hart. I'm on my phone. Let me see. See if I can find this real quick. James Hart, I believe, is his name. It's not James. Are you subscribed to a channel by the name of E Waste Mike? Have I? Yeah. I don't know. If if you haven't, check him out. He does a lot of recycling with computers. He looks at the uh, motherboards and stuff, and he takes off the gold, and he shows you the stuff that he has. His house is it's all over the place, at-home business. Johnny Hart. Yeah, sounds good. I watch a guy that does that. He breaks apart all the different metal for recycling. Yeah, for scrapping and stuff. I, I, I scrap, but I don't go to that detail. I just throw everything out in a pile all year and then take it over right before Christmas usually. But he did the BC artwork. I can't see that. Oh. BC artwork for years. He is the most read Christian art author, even above uh, Billy Graham and C.S. Lewis. Oh, wow. More people have read Johnny Hart than any other uh, Christian author. But he has he does the cartoons, and we found this bull. It is Fire King of Improve Anchor Hawking with BC Art. So cool. So that's really old. I'm not. He he passed away in 2007, but he started in 1958, or that's when he was born. We also got this uh, vintage strawberry shortcake. I can't remember what year it was. I did look it up, but vintage strawberry shortcake like milk cup for kids. That's pretty cool. And we have a uh, very cool Mickey Mouse vintage cup. Oh, yeah. Anything Disney and Mickey related, people want that, especially for Goofy. Goofy's on there, too. Yeah. That's vintage. Very cool. Yeah.
And we also have this Disney little travel set for kids. With the lid. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Yeah, anytime you can get Disney. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Look at this guy. It's Taxi Bear by Matt. <laughs> Check this out. I love it. It's like got a weagle tail. Check this out. His tail just spins. Taxi Matt. Taxi Matt. Choo, 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 choo. Still Good works. works. It's good that it works. That's hilarious, yes. huh? They kind of wobble. Yeah. Does it have any markings on it of where it was made or branding? Because that looks like some from maybe the 70s or the 80s. Made by Hummy. Hummy. H U M Y. Mm -hmm. 1980. Yeah, I thought it'd be 80s. This, this thing's as old as Tammy. As old as me. Seven years older than you. Let's see. Yeah, we enjoy stuff. We try to find the art in everything. Check these scissors out. Quarter I paid for these. Have you ever seen scissors like that? No. I love them because their handles are so big. I'm going to use them for pruning my tomatoes. Home and garden stuff. This. Anytime you can buy home and garden for a quarter, 2000 you do it. This is a little set. Creamer and butter. Birdhouses. There you go. All home and garden. <laughs> oh, what? Wow. Oh, my God. That's normal. Home and garden. See? Now, to me, that's the most... That's the most popular and the most famous logo made in USA. I like that. Yeah. Home and Garden, you're right. Really? I used to work for them. Tammy worked for Home and Garden for a while. Yep. Anything made in USA. Yeah, and they're made, in the, made in the USA. All this so we those. all this stuff's made in USA, except for <laughs> India, you know. We try to look for uh, USA stuff. Look at this. Uh, vintage Coca-Cola, yep. We love Coca-Cola. Yeah, like d -Cobb says, y'all have a good it's eye only for It's only 1978, but... Still. That's still 40 years old. Oh, yeah. And it's in great shape, no rust or anything anywhere. Nice. Yeah. What's in there? Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Finish it off with my. Oh, yeah, these are cool. Uh, you'll see in our vlogs, we got some other salt and pepper shakers in there. There's some hillbilly ones. Um, one's got white hair and one's got brown hair. But look what the pepper, salt pepper shakers I found today. Tiger King. I found Tiger King salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> now they're just vintage tigers, but Tiger. what? The Tiger King. Tiger King. I love it. Look at this, though. I couldn't believe I found this stuff. I, I'm a big VHS buff. I love VHS mm -hmm. movies. I like finding old ones. That they don't either put on um, DVDs or whatever. Look at this. Conan the Barbarian. I got the that original. One. Yep. And the blob. Got it on DVD. Yeah, but it's not the same. No, nope, not the, have all the little noise. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm just saying. Yeah, that, look, Ernest goes to camp. Trifecta. Mm -hmm. You like the Ernest movies? Love them. Those yeah, are my favorite. Hey, first season complete. Duke's Hazard. Old Daisy Duke, not the new one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Fan favorite cheers. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Garfield. When's the last time you saw Garfield? And then these are just like school related. I'll sell these for like a dollar twenty or yeah. something on eBay so that people can use them to help their kids. That one's Max Licato. Mm -hmm. And then this is just Leapfrog, Let's Go to School. So I'll put them on there for like a dollar and people can use them to help with their – who knows what's going on with school? No idea. How many we have hummingbirds. We're going to put those up next week. We've been getting a bunch of videos and photos of our hummingbirds. They're going to come out here. They fight, they they roost, they love it. We got tons of them. So we're going to put that video up here coming up. We got about 10 minutes until Kenneth goes on. I can't believe we went that whole time, and I managed to make it to liver pate. <laughs> paste. It's basically paste. That was gross. Yeah, you're still here, so it must not have been no. that bad. We put these on eBay. We get any takers, we sell them. If they don't sell on eBay, we throw them on our dollar auction site on our Facebook page. Everything starts at a dollar, and whatever sells, sells. That's how we do it. Or we also do flea markets. Now, the flea market we're doing next weekend, they say I'm not allowed to film or photograph. So I don't know if I'm just going to take my drone and film from above or what, but... That sad. I've never heard of that. What? Not been able to film a flea market. What for security it's reasons? It's an animal swap me. Oh, okay. But they have a lot more than animals there. It's not a flea market. It is an animal swap me. Oh. Uh, and I don't know. Um, maybe why. Everything or me. it could maybe be because he doesn't know us and I could talk to him when I get there and it'd be totally yeah. different. Either so that or they don't want uh, they don't want PETA showing for something. Right, or, or getting crazy about stuff or whatever. But if yeah. we're just filming right there at our site at our thing, he may let us. I don't know. But um Well, I think it might have something to do with they sell a lot of guns and ammunition and Things like that. Oh, and I think, yeah. I think that a lot of Amish don't like to be filmed. Yeah, there's a lot of Amish around there too, Anna. Like it's so. one of their because oh, they sell a lot of chickens, pheasants, peacocks, lots of birds. We bought a fox there that had papers. We had it as a pet for a while. Um, <laughs> and we released it here at the house, and we actually watched pups. It bred over here, right down a block from our house. I had five or six pups running around, and now it's all the way down. Well, I don't know if it's the same one, but we see fox uh, about a mile and a half down the road. We see them all the time. So I think it went out and bred, and it's still around the area. <laughs> but we, we kept it for about a month or so, and then we let it loose. Okay, Karen. Have a good day. Bye, all right. Karen. Bye, Karen. Thank you for Thanks for coming here, White Witch. Everybody, we're going to, uh, it's going to be a Kenneth, Ford Man, Kenneth Oaks raid. Matt's going to drop it in, link into here. And uh, we thank you guys for coming. Uh, appreciate everything and every everything that everybody does. I'm going to try to get up on Misfits and Dreamers live feed here soon. Now that I have stream yards. Mm -hmm. um, I've been using stream labs. And I've tried to get on Bob's a couple times, and that didn't work. So I think I can do it now. And uh, once yeah, I go definitely. live with him, I don't mind going on anybody else's panel. I've been asked by about quite a few people to go on their panel, and I won't do it till I'm on 
Misfits and Dreamers first. So I like Bobby. No, I promised him I would. He doesn't care, but I'm sticking to my word. So right there's the link. Over yep. there. And go on over to Kenneth and tell him uh, the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla Raid. We thanks, thanks to everybody for coming. We'll see you next time. We're going to sign off. Matt, you got anything else to say? No. Just nope. remember to keep a song Check in your heart. Check him out on Fridays. He just said something. Oh. Talk over him. So right, just keep ahead. a song in your heart. Very nice. Till next time. Peace. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for coming up, buddy. No problem. Friday night, live music with Saxy Matt. We love this guy. He plays some really good stuff and even takes requests. So check him out, Saxy Matt. Thanks, He's got other stuff too, but Bye, this everyone. Friday night's a link up with him. Later.